Hi, welcome back to my channel, Sway of Color. I'm Scarlett, and today we are going to uh, be trying something new for beginners. Uh, lovely wife is going to be slinking behind me. Let's say hello. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to have the Mrs. Arding today right here on this one. And you'll see I will be arting today on this one. Boop, boop, boop. Um, let us get on the live feed real quick. Ooh. Live chat. Mm. Okay, wonderful. So what we're going to be doing is trying yeah. a... Sorry. Okay, thanks. I just got a lot of information to say and I just I want to get through it. All right. Okay, so... <gasps> hi, Bethany! Hi! Hi, Miss Clara! All right, so today we're going to be trying to do a new technique literally for the first time. It's a beginner technique that Leslie Onstad came uh, uh, made to decorating glass ornaments and we have some lovely glass ornaments. I have this heart one and Carrie has the egg shape one. And if <gasps> Frost hi if you want to um be able to purchase these specific glass ornaments, these two shapes, this egg one that is in Carrie's camera and this heart one in my uh, description box below link you can contact the woman who sells these is called uh, Judy Sand and you can contact her um, and her information and the pay pay the prices for the cases if you want a whole case or half a case um, information is on there too as well to sell uh, 64 ornaments come in a whole case um, for and right now there's a sale there's a sale too so as supplies last um through january until january 2nd is a sale for uh the 64 glass ornaments either or egg or heart doesn't matter for 99 dollars uh, regular price is normally 128 and you can get a half, half case which is the 32 ornaments either or whatever you choose heart or egg shape for 67 dollars and 50 cents um plus Plus shipping on both of these as well, by the way, I forgot. Um, and through until supplies last through January 2nd. And normally it's... 87. Okay, 50. 87. I'm like, what? That looks like a 9. Yeah. Okay, 87.50. So, um, and that's jhsand at me.com. That's where you can contact her. Um, and uh, these and they come clear. So this is filmed because we're doing something. But they, I normally had one right here, but I guess I don't anymore. They come clear, um, and then you can decorate them or not decorate them. They also have the, we removed, because we're going to be showing you a new decoration, this lovely little, the you know, top of the ornament thing. Now, these ornaments have been double fired, and they're about three and three quarters of an inch wide, so they're almost mm -hmm. four inches wide. They're really, so, and they're super sturdy. Terrible. Um, they've got a really smooth opening at the what the I mouth. would call the nipple or the mouth mm -hmm. um, and they're thick enough to be engraved on so if you do any of that um, you can yeah do etching sandblasting or whatever engraving on on these to decorate them as well the outer part like if you want to do a name or Merry Christmas or you know congratulations on your first baby or whatever yeah so um, and the cool thing is they're double fired so that way this opening is nice and soft and smooth uh, for you so that way you don't cut yourself and it's nice and thick so things that we're going to be doing to decorate them on if you want to pour things on the inside that's why that they won't chip or break or whatever you know I mean it's glass so obviously within reason but okay so um, we are going to be using the primary elements today and this technique is also Leslie's technique a video she did is in my description box below the very first um, one I'm going to do, I have two hearts, Carrie has the egg one. I'm going to be, hi Nancy, hi everybody, so we're just trying to hammer, come with the hanger too, right? Yes. Yes, yes. that's what I showed you. I just removed it, um, but they do come with the hanging thing, and all you have to do is squeeze this and pop it back in, which we will be doing when we're done, but I had to remove it because... And they come packed um, pack in bo a box yeah, of four. Yeah, each one has bubble wrap around it. They're just 64 cases. So, sorry. Yep. And then, um, 
in a case or 32 for a half case if you want to buy them. Yes, yes, Miss Clara. Yes. Okay, so um, what I coded that I did off camera because it, you know, takes a little bit of time, but um, is Vivid Polypore. So um, this is a, a medium, it's an acrylic polymer blend for uh, paint pouring that you mix, you can make um, these primary element colors that come in a powder and you can mix them and focus. Focus. Hmm. Focus. Hello. <laughs> but you can mix them with this stuff to make actual paint if you want. We're using it as an adhesive, um, basically. So you put that in, you just pour a little bit in, and you just go around and you're going to coat it. Sorry, my camera is so backwards. This thing, it makes no sense. Um, but you just tilt it and it'll it'll coat it evenly. Why is this so way over here? Okay. So it'll coat it evenly. Like literally, you guys, the camera shows it pointing that. You can't even see. That way. It literally shows it like it's pointing <laughs> off to the moon. And I have it to the far. It's pointing to the far left. And I have to hold my thing to the far right for you to see. That's crazy. That's why people struggle to show stuff in these things. <laughs> So that's our first step. You're going to just do that, mix it all, get the excess out. There is a little bit in here. As you see, it's still kind of liquidy because I could not get um, all this removed because the inside has a little, you know, the way it is. You just kind of rock it back and forth and dump out the excess. And like so with Carrie's egg was the same. So our next fun step, and again, this video is in my description box below that Leslie did. Um, is the link to this video and the first colors I'm going to do is one of the first ones she did on the video um, and so you won't be seeing us from this point on I'm gonna I'm gonna have the camera show what we're doing only so Carrie you need to be really mindful to keep your stuff down okay and in the in frame okay um, okay. And so our next tool we're, you're going to need is also all these things are sold on Leslie's website, which is the color art, um, dot com, which is also my description box below. Um, and it's bind and resist. Why will this not focus? Like, honestly, there's nothing in this bloody picture frame, but this. Why is it not focusing? I don't know. Can you read, Carrie? Find and resist. No, I know this is but oh. resist. They can't see it. You're welcome, Doris. Oh. Hey, Claire, using latex you recommended on some. Oh, because the autofocus is taken off. Duh. Okay, sorry. I don't have it to focus. It's bind and resist. <laughs> <laughs> because I removed the autofocus so that way it wouldn't blur as we're doing this for you guys. I wouldn't be like freaking out constantly, you know. So those are the only two besides primary elements, which is the colored powders of whatever color you want. Um, as well as what we'll good the end thing, we're going to use the gold, solar gold mica. Um, but that's it. Those are the only things you did. I did add water to this. So I, I put in a little cup here. Um, the polymer, vivid polymer pour. Um, you can use, she does sell, uh, if Miss Judy was here, I didn't write that down, unfortunately. Um, she used a solution in her video. I didn't have that. Um, but she sells something, it's called something else now, but it's basically that solution. She doesn't, I don't think she sells that anymore on her site. So it's called something else. But this was a substitute, basically, um, because I didn't have either of those. So I used a vivid polymor polypore, and I added a little bit of water just to thin it out, and I put it in a cup. And then what I did is I put it in a little funnel. I just put the funnel in, like so. You could probably use a pipette also. Oh, you can. I used the pipette to add water. Um, you know, to blend, or you can put the pipette in, you know, soak this up, do it like that. I just poured it in from the cup to the, to the funnel and the funnel fits in perfectly in the hole. It's a little baby silicone funnel I happen to have, but yeah, totally. Pipette would 
super work. Good job, baby. All right. I'm so, crafty sometimes. No. <laughs> okay, yes. Flair's like, good idea with the pipette. Thank you, Miss Doris. So, um, if you guys can put the information out of Judy's email on there, um, so that way, just copy and paste it from my description box below. Uh, it has the information about the prices and selling of it, too. Hi, Gina. <laughs> right? Hi, Laura. Hi, Ann. Hi, everyone. I haven't said hello to that I may have missed. Anne just, wanna... just got all her primary elements, so this is perfect. Oh, yeah. Hi. See? Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to show you. Floyd says I have a million pipettes. Oh, great. Perfect. So now we're going to go back to doing this. Again, these are glass. Hold up. Let me get a better way to do this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have this all set and then I had to move my camera. <laughs> okay. So. So the other thing, I um, had carry, what are these called, tongue depressors or whatever, you know, they're like solid. Do you have one so I can show them what the heck it is? <laughs> it's a tongue suppressor. Mm-hmm. It's like like the popsicle stick. You could use you know, a popsicle but stick, but I just no. cut it. Yeah, we just cut it down, but a bigger one, you know, a big tongue depressor. And all we did was cut it in half. Um, Leslie used uh, a stir stick thing for coffee, I guess. You stir your coffee with it or whatever, those little thin sticks. You just need something thin enough that you can um, pick up the powder and then uh, add it to it you know in because you're going to be doing a tapping with the powder and a rotating and I really hand should get slapping. this yeah i really should get this excess out but it's like it's all right it's refusing okay so um our next step then after you put in your solution or your polymer pour bind and is resist. you're gonna do yep this binder resist Okay, this is really going to be a challenge, everyone, for me to figure out how to show you. Mm. And we... Is Judy here? No. You should probably take that because we're them. And we get the ornaments from jhsandatme.com. Oh, yay! Lillian has a hundred. Woohoo! Yes. Yes, they cost a case. It's in my description, everyone. Uh, but they cost for a case. It's on sale right now until January 2nd or until supplies last. And um, they're $99 for a case you know, of 64 see. ornaments um, until January 2nd. They're regularly $128. So it's a great savings of uh, almost, 100, almost 30 bucks. And a half case. A half case is, is thirty-two for sixty-seven dollars and fifty cents. Mm -hmm. So you're just gonna put in this uh, bind and resist, and you're just gonna tap it around. Just you kind of want it, you know, sporadic. You don't want it like all coating, but you just want some fun. Mm -hmm. You know, turn your piece, get them in there. This is kind of the process. Okay, I already see them off camera. <laughs> How is it so perfect and now it's not? Literally, look at this. I'm not getting it. Hold on, everyone. I'm trying to figure this camera thing out. This makes no sense, Carrie. Very not understanding the camera at all. Face it that way. There you go. That is crazy. But it's crooked. I know. You see what I'm saying? It's well, okay. It's not okay. I need it to to show black, not this is not working for me. Okay, this is not working for me. I first need to get this to not be crooked. I don't understand. Hang on, we're having a little camera. That's good. 
There you go. It's not because I'm way down here and I can't keep arting far away from me. So it's not good. Well, you can move the paper? No, okay. it doesn't matter about the paper. It's this stupid camera, that's what I'm saying. But I need it to be high up so when I pick it up, it doesn't. This makes no sense. There you go. Let's see, I'm over here on the art, so I need it to be... Bear with us, guys. I tend to do this, so I need it... Up? Mm hmm No. Oh my gosh, Hudson is taking a bath and he's going... I just... It's the first thing I saw. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Floyd wants ornaments. I thought she said she had a hundred. A uh, hundred pipettes. Oh. All right, Floyd. Well, contact Miss Judy Sam. Judy, I need these. Where's Judy? I don't know. I told you to text her again. But um, you need to contact her at. Um, can please my mods copy and paste one of them. Judy's email into the thing so people can see it. That'd be awesome. Oh my gosh. I love baby's laughter. Okay. So this is not going to work with the whole thing I'm saying. Okay. See, I was trying to give you guys a close-up because everybody's always like, I can never see. I need a close-up. And now I'm trying to do this. I can't literally show you guys what I'm doing. Uh, okay, let me see. Nope. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, so you're going to use the... The little soft palm fatty part of your tissue and you're going to just slap your stuff around on it. And normally you wouldn't be taking, this is what I'm saying, you can't see what the heck I'm doing, camera. This is stupid. There. This camera is like a little, it's just ridiculous. Okay. Okay, so I've put in about five scoops. I don't know, I'm not counting, I'm just doing what looks right and I am plugging the hole so it doesn't come out at me I'm not. <laughs> just in case okay so you just kind of have it forever and there's still some liquid in here so I'm kind of moving it around a little bit Please you read, baby, because I don't know what people are asking or saying. Is there a wide-angle view? Just asking, Floyd says. I'm not doing the camera, you guys, with that. It's not like that. So, it's literally just trying to figure out this stupid tool. I mean, li I'm literally having to point the camera the opposite direction of where you're placing your, eye your object, which makes it so beyond backwards that it makes no sense. <sighs> Floyd says no problem. Yeah, okay. You're doing great, baby. So after you get your bun and resist, and this is cool because it's literally this decoration style for an ornament is going to be, it is for a beginner. So, and we both have never, ever done this. So technique or anything. So in, we're going to see how interference. That works. Yep. Our next thing we're going to do is some interference. I have, um, I have the wrong one. Why is, I saw your violet. It's over there behind the white cup. Okay. But, oh, this was, okay. So I'm going to be putting in some green, interference green pearl. Again, all these are color art products, so you can get them and, colorart.com which is that link to it is in my description box below you do not want to breathe in any of these mica powders and you're going to pick up your your piece and just going to put it in 
and just have it kind of hit. And you can push your stick further in to let it get down differently. Yeah, this is a struggle with the camera. <laughs> That's why I said you have to keep it low. That's why I told you don't put your hand under it. Because it's too... So I'm just rotating my piece and just kind of moving my stick where I want to kind of randomly throw the interference. I have to be mindful of the fact that that volume is super loud right here where you're where slapping. I'm tapping. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What exactly does an interference look like dry? Dry? It's powder. And you see the you see how it has a green hue. That's what you'll get is that green hue. We see where the light hits. So it's like a pearl, like pearlized, pearlized look of the mica. Like a really pretty, like, kind of think of like an abalone shell. You know, that really pretty pearl you get. But you see that green hue that's kind of all over? That's what you'll get. So I want some, I'm going to put some in because I want a little bit into the corner right here of my hearts. Lillian, I just got two new cameras. Oh, Baby Doll says, thank you, Clara and Scarlett. You're welcome, Baby Doll. Mattify's here. <gasps> Mattify, what up? You guys, this is going to be so awesome. And the thing is, is you don't want to coat it evenly at this, this point right now. You kind of just want it to, you know, get spots wherever. Uh, but you just want it to have that sporadic kind of uh, look because... Wait, 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 wait. There. Because um, you'll be filling it in with all the colors. So that's the green. And now I'm going to be doing some violet pearl. I added, it. I added the red pearl. That was your interference? That was my interference. It was the red pearl for Carrie's egg. And Carrie, again, is on this side right here. She has the egg-shaped ornament. And it's not going to autofocus. It's not going to autofocus. You can tell them. And you're way too close anyway. But, yeah, because we have the autofocus off so you guys don't see it just freaking out as we're hitting it. <gasps> Judy's Miss here. Judy. Yay. I love you, too. Okay, so after the so, interference... Miss Judy Lillian Floyd was saying that you see it says Floyd. She was saying she would want some. I am putting another interference color in mine, Kara. Ah. I'm going to go ahead and run with the color if that's okay with you. You can. So after you do the interference, then you're going to add your colors. And Carrie will show you specifically how I'm going. she's going to... There's a technique of how you want to get your colors in. So I'm going with Beach House Blue. And the technique was to start tapping from the top. I'm just going to plug my hole when I do this and kind of sh shake and tap. To kind of coat from the top and then coat the middle. The that, you know, this part. Up by the hole first, and then the middle. You're tapping. And I'm tapping and turning. Um, you gotta go slow, they can't see you. You probably should do it sideways, so that way they okay. can see you better. Hit the camera. What do you mean you're gonna hit the camera? I'll try. Then move the I'll phone. I'll try. Move the phone so you don't hit that. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. 
saw this beach house blue is phenomenal it's the exact color i was looking for miss judy thank you <laughs> and i'm tapping and turning i'm actually yeah, gonna take it off fun. camera and tap it a little bit hitting in the fatty palm of my hand Gina says, Carrie looks nice. That blue is so pretty. So, yeah. So, as you can see mine, you can see that you get some pinks coming through. You see that? That violet right there. That purple. Intermixed with the green. And the cool thing about interference is you see how the two colors play just gorgeously together right there. You got the green and then Ooh, yeah. the purple. Um, they don't intermix. So they don't like blend into where they'll make a muddy color. They stay separate. And that's what's really fun about uh, the interference is they don't uh, like commingle. You know what I mean? So you can get two actual tones of color. Super, super fun. Clara says, this is a messy but pretty project. Love it. It is. It's, like, fun. It's not super messy, but, you know, I mean, I'm sure, again, this is the first time we're ever doing it. So, we're showing you. This is a beginner's technique by Leslie Onset that she um, posted a video, which the link is in my description box below, that I wanted to try this off of. And it's really wonderful because, you know, um, I'm sure if you, do, you get more used to doing this or whatever, then you'll be better at it. But... Um, it really goes to show you, you know, you can make something beautiful and and simple and quick and do whatever you want of colors and be a 100% beginner and it not be a problem. Oh. So, one of the color of the primary elements I'm going to be using is this gorgeous, like I said, the first colors I'm going to do is exactly... I just thought it was so pretty on her video. Um, and it is. You're going to have to go to him. I don't want to okay. cry. So Carrie's going to be on pause for a second because she's got to go check out the little ones crying. This one is called Apple Blossom. And I highly suggest doing swatch, swatches of these colors um, you can just literally get a paintbrush and just wet it with water and a piece of paper and just swatch the paint you know on here um, because some of them when they're in powder form you really can't tell the true color so here I'm gonna I'm gonna tap with my finger like this I'm gonna keep the powder Ooh, there you go the powder it's gonna be hard for you to see but I'm gonna keep it up in here second camera maybe I might steal your camera yeah, yeah maybe I'm going to keep the powder up like this so that you're going to see me going in and out like if I want it more at the bottom I pull it in if I want it more at the top you know I pull it forward and then I'm going to be just using my finger to tap the powder to fall inside here as I rotate this piece so we just tap Tap, tap, it hits the glass and rotate and tap. And this is going to take some skill and time. I don't want to drop my thing, so I'm going to need to. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> so now you see me on both cameras. So, oh my gosh, I'm turning, I'm tapping with both fingers. How funny is that? <laughs> I was doing the same thing. So you're going to tap and turn, tap and turn. And I'm going to put it in further. You got to you got to move the camera so you can see them better in the video. I'm just going to cover the pole and again with the fatty part of my hand I'm going to tap this on 
And look at all that. I don't know if you guys can tell that shimmer of interference on my glove. <laughs> and this is going to absorb and soak into that that uh, resist binder as well as the vivid polymer. Um, it's going to stick. And so this color is going to keep changing and growing and changing and growing that you see on here. You know. I purposely want to put some down. So here, so I'm gonna hi. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi, Amber. <laughs> Yeah, what you guys, if you're coming in, I did show all the products in the very beginning, so you may have to watch back if you're coming in late. Um, I did show the Vivid Polymore Pour and all that stuff uh, that I used. So, um, all these products are, are on uh, Color Art's website, so you could just go there, and it's in my description box below. So you just kind of tap where you would like to see some of this product. I feel like I'm missing my harvest soul. I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Okay. So the other color I'm going to use is uh, another primary element called Harvest Soul. And it's super pretty. And I know it looks more purple here, but it actually is like this really pretty. I did have a swatch of it. I should have, I should have brought it over earlier. Thank you, Miss Clara. I super appreciate it. My pricing is in the description box below for a whole case for half case. Everything is on sale right now for these amazing glass ornaments. I'm doing. The heart one and my lovely wife was doing the egg one but she had to go check on the little baby so she will be back and this in like within 20 minutes and stuff like this color needs to soak and change so you'll see it um, changing color and absorbing continually so that's what's so great about these is like you just it's kind of magical how that how that happens and what a drastic change it makes just plug in the hole and and hitting it with the base of my palm right here really soft firm area so Gina Judy is asking you how are the boys and I don't know which boys Gina you're referring to if you're talking about the poor pups Miss Judy doesn't have the HD poor pups right now but look at that look at those colors just change Isn't that crazy? And they're going to continue to make different color. And don't worry about, again, all this clear space because we will, it will be solid. It will be filled with, um, I'm going to use the solar gold. 
after I have to let it set for some time. Hi, baby. No hugs right now. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. It's okay. Hi. It's okay, baby. Um, FYI, everyone, this is the egg one that Carrie's doing, but she had a pause. Oh, my little one's upset because. Hi, Rusty. Hi, baby doll. Um, because. Because he wants to play with mommy. So, I'm sorry. So, I do want to put some in up here. I want, I just want to get some color right up in the corners of the heart. It's kind of hard to get in that part. Oh, Joppy, I know. Joplin's all upset. It's okay, Joppy. She and, uh... Our son are very, Joplin's the ATD poor pup, she's the girl of the brothers, and she is very uh, dependent on that little boy. <laughs> They're very codependent on one another, and so when he's upset, she gets upset if she can't get to him, and vice versa. It's so cute. I'm well, Rusty. How are you doing? you but see look at that isn't that magical so we're just gonna let this one set for now and let it keep and when we'll come back to it you'll see it can still grow and change color um, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna work on carrots real quick because I don't want it to not be right. Um, so she had put originally put in beach house throughout, and then now we're gonna rotate. We're gonna give her some, um, and then she used red pearl for interference. And then now this color is called twilight. Look how beautiful. It's like a really pretty purple, I think. So again, we're just going to stick that stick in and tap. And this one you can really see. The tap and churn, tap and churn. Ooh. <laughs> Hold on to your egg. <laughs> just want to get that. Okay, she did a great job of. So I'm gonna go further deeper into the egg and tap and churn, tap and churn. Mm hmm. Mm. So we're just placing the color in there that's sticking to the polypore and the uh, bind and resist. And we're just plugging the hole, you know, as we tap and turn. Just kind of getting it in there nice and good. Oh my gosh, I already can tell this one's going to be so pretty. So pretty. And as it sits there and absorbs and everything, we are just going to keep rotating. I'm going to put some of this in here. It's so pretty. And keep it straight down just so that way. It hits in that. That's going to be interesting where it's like kind of. 
super smart. I'm gonna I'm really interested to see what that's gonna look like. Okay. So she did that color. Let's see what else. What else she had over here is called Ginger Peach. Oh, I just love this color. And the names are really um, fun and pretty accurate uh, just depiction of what. So look how that, it looks like a rusty kind of uh, orangey brown. And this color comes so, out so beautifully light though, seriously. Like it, it really is a Ginger Peach color. It's so pretty. I've used this before. So again, we're just going to go in and turn as we tap. Just scoop some more primary element. Turn and tap. And look at, you can already see where it's sticking. So she did like a really pretty turquoise blue with this really pretty purple and then now this is going to be a really pretty orange I mean I know this is going to look so gorgeous and you know and then we can put this on a Christmas tree as ornaments if we'd like or you can give it as a gift to someone or you could have it you know just in the window hung for the light to like shine on all pretty again you can etch on these if you like names or whatever use some etching cream paint on a name or you can um, you know pour over the tops of these you can do resin over them colors if you'd like I mean, the sky's the limit with decorating, you know, glitter, like whatever you want. You don't have to do the inside. You could do the outside only if you wanted to decorate, or you could do both in it and outside of these. The double fire. So, oops, that just. Okay. I cannot figure out one my. So you're going to have to kind of focus more on this one, camera view. Um, with the pouncing. <laughs> so again, just plugging the hole in my thumb. And I'm rotating and tapping, rotating and tapping. They're not think glass. Well, they're they're pretty thick. They're double fired, so they're not like super thin. Or maybe you meant thin glass. <laughs> but yeah, they're double they're double fired. Um, they're three and three fourth wide inch wide, so there's they have that smooth opening. Um, again, I all this if you guys come in a little bit later, you can uh, watch the playback of this video, and it'll show you that the opening right here is nice and smooth specifically so you could put things in it if you wanted to this was um, custom made um, for that reason so it's thick enough to be engraved on and to have a lot of fun with it you know I'm just gonna put a little bit here I'm just trying to can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. There's one on the mouth opening. And the cool process about this is you, you know, you don't want to coat evenly. So, um, anyway, be, you don't want it solid because we are going to put uh, gold on the background that's going to be a powder as well that will adhere and fill this so you'll really see the color after it absorbs you can already I mean look at that it's already changing hold on let me see if I can get a better color 
I did take the autofocus off these, so that's probably a little bit of the problem. But, oh, it's so pretty. See, and you see this one, the heart, it's already changing a lot. And it'll just keep changing. It'll keep, like, the red starting to show through this auburny yumminess. Okay, so the last one we're going to do is a heart. And here's the polyliquid polymer. You can still see how I couldn't get all of it out. So, but this is what you do. You just coat it. So this has a film already on the inside. That's why it looks kind of foggy. Um, that's why. And then, so we're just kind of moving this around to coat it. We'll do it one last time. For those coming in, you'll see. You know, I just mixed. Um, I just mixed the Vivid Polypour with a little bit of water. Uh, but on her video, if you watch Leslie's video, she uses what it's called Solution. But she doesn't sell that anymore. I think it's called something else. Miss Judy, what was that thing that she used? For this muffin tin. Stay Put in. Oh, right, Miss Clara? That would have been brilliant, huh? Thoris has lots of clever, 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 smart uh, ideas and uh, tricks and stuff. Okay, so we're going to go add our bind and resist, if I can find what I did with it. Here we go. <laughs> so this is a bind and resist. Helps keep these primary elements nice and saturated and stuck to the sides. And it gives that fun marbling. Oops, I just totally missed on that one. <laughs> I wasn't looking and I was not paying attention to what I was doing. But the fun thing is, is you want these to be kind of like random, you know, and that's what will make it really pretty and fun and give it this marbling look when you put this stuff in. You just want it. So just plug the hole. We're just going to pounce in that on the small of your palm right here <sighs> polycrylic is that what uh is that what's in place of the solution now miss judy oh shauna hi welcome shauna <gasps> diane hi yeah i am i am being fortunate, lovely Miss Judy is sharing her product with me. Um, she's going to be going on a to see her son and his family for a whole month. So yesterday was our last earning day together for a whole month. But she was kind enough to and generous to let me play with her primary elements and do some things. And so, and she's the one that sells these glass ornaments, everyone. So while they're, you know, supplies last, they're on sale right now for a whole case for $99, which regular plus shipping, which regularly is, you know, $128, and um, the uh, either or, you just tell her which you want the clear or the clear egg. You know, you decorate them yourself, or you can leave them as is. They're actually pretty that way too. Um, and then it's uh, half a case is pulled up, up. I don't want to get the wrong information. It's 32 ornaments for $67.50. Plus shipping and regularly uh, 87.50. So, and, and that's a good until January um, 2nd or until supplies last. So, if I were you guys, I would get on this because these are great presents, Christmas to decorate your own stuff to do with your own kids. I mean, something that's simple and fun and literally this is a beginner 
technique that Leslie had posted, which the video link for this is in my description box below. And this is my first time doing it. So as you see, look at this, like just absorbing and changing color as we speak. Isn't that amazing? Mm, so pretty. And as you see, you know, this is all 100% um, let's pick up some of that. My first time doing it, so it's totally doable. Anybody can do it if I can do it. <laughs> you know? And these results, the before and afters that I saw on Leslie's channel are just insane. Thank you, Doris. Oh, I, no worries, Shauna. I am not Leslie. I am Scarlett. <laughs> so I hope I didn't disappoint you. <laughs> Thank you, Doris. That's awesome. Thank you, everyone. Sorry, we had two cameras because my wife was um, doing the egg-shaped ornament. And look how big. I mean, my hand, you know, look how big these are. I mean, they're huge. I, could, I can't even put my, my all my hand around this ornament because it's so, it's so big. There's no way. So these are really great quality. These were custom-made. Um, you know, they're double fired, you know, they are clear, you buy them clear, so you have to decorate them if you want colors and things, but, or, you know, people who decorate them and sell them, that's one thing, but they're, they're meant to be clear, so I just want to make sure that's understood when you buy them from the lovely Miss Judy. Okay, so this color I wanted to do... So the next step is always the interference you're going to put on first. And I got some blue pearl interference. Um, I'm going to add. And I'm going to do, I'm going to save this powder too that is spilt on here and put it in a funnel the mixture and see what happens with one of these and I get a our Miss Dawn and I are going to be doing some more ornaments together and I can't wait to art with her and come up with some more stuff because you can you know you could do pours on the outer part you don't have to put it on the inside if you don't want you know you can have glue things to them you can do all sorts of super awesome on gifts or whatever. These are so, so fun. You know, and you can, if you don't have interference, you know, you can always, you know, get that um, at colorout.com. It's on Leslie's website and everything. Um, but you can, I'm sure you can use, you know, any kind of mica powder or whatever if you don't have you know, if you just can get the the ornaments to do them with and, and you don't have enough to get the, you know, to get the primary elements themselves, then try, you know, try using any kind of mica powder or whatever. Like, you know, I mean, her, her, there is something about her to say for Leslie's products, though. They are very pigmented and very beautiful. Um, so I'm not trying to not you know, discourage you from it or whatever. I'm just saying, if you want to try something and you only have enough for some things, you know, then definitely, you know, you could save up and get it for another time, but you can still art and make beautiful art with this if you don't have exactly the primary elements. Like you're going to want, you know, the, the stuff to keep it adhered to, like the resist bind and all that type of stuff. But does the resist do? It keeps it, it's like, um, it's, an, it's an acrylic paint, basically, so it helps it keep it stuck, um, and so that it stays to the glass so it sticks, Mattify. That's what the resist does. It keeps the 
that what were these primary elements um so when they, it dries, it keeps it stuck to the glass. Miss Clara, I'm just answering you and Mattify. I hope, I know it's delayed the text, so I hope, uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you, Miss Clara. <laughs> I was like, oh, I know it's delayed the feed, so I'm like, I hope I'm answering you at the right times. Yes, it binds it to the glass. So you see that blue, look at that in that light right there, right there. You see all this, how it's just follow the light where the light hits. And that's just gorgeous. I love it. So pretty. And this is the blue pearl interference that we're putting in here. So I just want some in this upper corner. It's so pretty. <laughs> this blue to me, it just pops so, so nicely. I mean, these are glass granite, so you, de you know, you do want to be, I mean, obviously not like crazy rough with them, but they are pretty durable. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Miss Clara. Oh, thank you, Miss Clara. Yes, yes, that was a great question. Uh huh, yeah, right. <laughs> Sean and Doris, totally, exactly. Okay, so there we go. Go, go, go on an adventure. Look how pretty. Okay. So now we're going to add the color. So it's a vivid polymorph pour is what I did first to get it all nice and luby so it sticks. Then the bind and resist so that way your the colors of your bling it and your polymorph, you know, whatever you use color inside of powders will help it adhere and stay. So now I have three colors I'm going to do. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on one second real quick. Um, well, Miss Joplin needs her. Hi, hey, somebody, which is. She just wants some addicts. <laughs> okay. Sorry, everyone. Our ATD poor pup was needing her person, which is my two-year-old son. Okay. So, um, this is called Dragonfire. This color is so pretty. It's like um, a purpley blue. Like, it has a blue undertone. But I think it, ha it has red interference in it, if I recall correctly, to it. So it gives it like this really pretty metallic purple sheen. So again, you're going to stick it in and tap, 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 which I dropped it when I shook my hand. And turn your, your piece. Rotate your glass piece ornament. So the blue on here should really pop with that blue interference. It should make it even more pronounced. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. 
do you mean coat first and then paint second? Uh, I don't know. What did I say? <laughs> um, yes, Miss Judy. Leslie has a bunch of different um, videos on great ideas and techniques of different things to do with these ornaments, which I'm going to try to do as many as I can of her techniques. And that, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oopsie. Let me get this close on me. Black struggling here. So with the red colors, and uh, correct me, or add. To, oh, okay. Sorry, Claire. <laughs> um, Miss Judy, correct me though if I mistake. I know it's the red and something. I feel like there's another. I don't know if it's browns or what, but um, you just have to stir them a lot more. They they don't uh, disperse as easily. So just remember that when you're using the primary elements. Um, if you're using them to make paint or whatever, you're just going to need to be making sure that you put them down better. Okay. Again, just plugging that hole as you tap. Reds and browns. Okay, great. Thank you. I know, right, Mattify? Isn't that awesome? Oh. And I, you know, the weird thing is I did a color swatch on this and it was like, it showed more purple than the blue, but I, you know, I think that interference blue really just makes it even pop even more. But I could see it look more purpley when I did it, so that's just crazy to me. Mm. Let me get some back here. Okay, and this, I love this, it's called Ginger Flower. Again, when it comes to arting lately, I've just been into these, like, kind of pinky, this is more like a fuchsia pink. It's just a really magnificent. <gasps> Miss Monica! Hi, Miss Monica! Thank you so much for your, you guys, she won the art challenge. Um, She came in on the art challenge and won on that October Art Challenge for um, ATD, and uh, she she donated her prize to me. Like, how amazing and kind is that? I was so shocked. I mean, it's just such... Uh, I can't thank you enough, Miss Monica. That was so sweet of you to do. I'm ever so grateful, and I loved your art piece, and all the people who entered their pieces, I mean, they were just really, really cool. Doris, I like how your piece came out, Doris. And Karen's with the cat in the coffin, that was brilliant. <laughs> I know, right? Miss Monica was a bomb. Yeah, you can paint or pour um, on the outside and varnish or resin the outside of these as well. You know, you could even fill it with resin if you wanted to. If you did a pour and you wanted to fill it up. I mean, you could do whatever. You could put little lights in here. You know, like do your thing and then put little fairy lights in it if you want. That would be, you know, time consuming to push it in probably. But it's doable.
I'm gonna get these corners. It's hard to get the corners of the heart. So you just plug that hole and tap it. So as you see, some of it's a little bit more dramatic because that's where that liquid was more liquid or whatever. Oh, you're the sweetest, Miss Monica. Really, I really appreciate all your support and love. I mean, it's just amazing. Miss Monica does some crazy bomb trays and artwork. Like, she does some amazing resin pours. Yes, Miss Monica, the Vivid Polypore is what I'm using because I didn't have the solution. If you watch Leslie's uh, video link in my description box below, you'll understand what I'm talking about. I use this as a replacement. I just um, added a little water to it just to make it really luby and thin. And then um, she sells, what's it called again, Miss Judy? It's, it's called something, acrylic something. She sells, um, she doesn't sell the solution stuff anymore. I think it's an approved version of that. So that's what it's called. And then I put in uh, the bind and resist uh, powder. So that way the primary elements adhere and stick to it is the next step. And then you're going to pick your primary element colors or whatever, mica powder or whatever you want to put on the inside. And then after that, I'm going to, when this, you give it time to absorb and color and everything. Oh gosh, look at that. Look how pretty. Like so pretty. This purple, like the blue is just so pretty. Um... Then I'm going to end it off with the Solar Gold by Primary Element. Um, and this is like a, this mica just adheres to it. You don't even need. You could just put this solely without even having anything in here. And it will, it will adhere to it naturally without having to add anything to it. For some reason, I don't know if it's like static wise, but it, it stays and it super coats the inside. And that way all these, you know, patches, it'll just bring out your color that much more because you won't see it. Once all this dries, it'll dry, you know, beautifully and saturate and keep bleeding through as it's drying. And then what's left is your color. So this is the first one we start with. And as you see, it's already changing and growing. Changing and growing. Oh, look at that red. That's that pretty um, um, harvest uh, harvest soul color. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do is daffodil. It's a beautiful, beautiful shimmering yellow. And the great thing about these primary elements too that I'm really <laughs> don't breathe in that little plumage of smoke that I'm really loving is um, that they all have this really pretty like shimmer to them. So you're going to tap and turn because you want it to fall randomly and you're just going to tap, tap, tap and churn. Have it stick as you can see. The yellow already. Some of it's sticking up here. I'm 
just pushing it in. And depending on where I want it to go is how much deeper or not as deep, you know, depending on where I want it on the stick. So basically I'm pushing, I'm inserting it and I'm uh, tapping with my finger boop, 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 like that as I insert it and I rotate this and I'm tap, tap, tapping. And then if I want it further down in, I just push my stick further down and do the same process. Tap, 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 and rotate it around. And then I just plug the hole, you know, and tap it against my fatty palm, base of my palm right here. Ooh, is it Miss Diane? Limited edition primary elements up for sale on color art. And the coupon code is Autumn Sky 1019. What a great name. I love it. No, you don't mix the bind and resist, Miss Clara. You just put it in there and, oh, wait, you guys might be talking about something else. I don't know. But when it came to this, you it was separate. You just put the powder in like boop, 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 boop. Because you want it to do a marbling pattern, which is why you have it just haphazardly like, just like this stuff too in there is so that it would give that great marbling uh, pattern. Oh, right on Mattify. Yes, Mattify, get these ornaments, they're bomb. Again, that's in my description box below is uh, JH, um, I wrote it down, hold on, let me make sure I say it right jhsandatme.com is where you can order a full or half case and right now you can get through January 2nd all uh, supplies last and get them on sale they are rad you guys and this is just one simple technique compared to all and this is going to be so awesome when it fully absorbs and stuff like these colors like oh are just insane I just want to get some of them back I can. There we go. And it's so pretty. I don't know if you can. That interference is still, you can see that blue sheen. And you can see the colors peppering through on here. Let's see if I can show you a little bit better with the dark peeking through. And it shows up super blue on the camera, but it is like there is purple throughout. Um, it just shows like so intensely blue on the camera purples. I don't know what that is about. Oh, thank you, Miss Carrie. Oh, thank you, Clara. Thank you so much. Yep. You know, and they're individually wrapped in bubble wrap. Like we showed again, if you just watch this plague black, you'll get a lot of more instructions or whatever, but they're individually wrapped each in the bubble wrap. And they come with the tops and the ornament. I just I just pulled it out so that way I could fill um, the color and stuff. So you just easily, you know, just squeeze this back in like so and push, whoop, put it in there. Um, and then once this is um, done drying, look at this one, how much it's changed. Like, isn't that crazy? Aren't these just awesome? So we're going to wait and we'll come back tomorrow. We'll do a part two of, so that way you get a nice 24 hours of this stuff soaking in, absorbing. And, um, and then we'll do a part two. Hi everybody. So we'll do a part two, um, and it'll show us doing, um, how they finished, how they dried off. And then we'll be adding the solar gold to the insides of these. And so that way you'll see the end result finish that way these will have as much time as possible to really absorb on that color to stick and absorb 
and then um yeah so I just, yes they really are i mean you can hot glue gun bling to it um miss judy herself did a lovely uh heart ornament and literally the entire thing is covered in rhinestones like black and white she did this like really cool like stripe of, of black if i remember like you could just do whatever you know they're just so so beautiful and universal on top of the simple fact you can literally um have them just be clear too and as an ornament or you know um you can heat emboss i did out you can do alcohol inks on these i've already done if in my um one of my videos we did alcohol inks i heat embossed on it with um embossing powders you know so you can stamp an image on it they're like literally you can do whatever you want and customize it as much as possible to give and keep and you know for yourself or especially to give us gifts and during the holidays even more so so um they're 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 really awesome and look how big it is i mean look at my palm look at the size of this you know and i don't have small hands for a girl <laughs> So that's pretty massive and nice and thick and there's totally fire kiln so that you don't, you know, ouchies or anything. But yeah, so we're going to see how these change. Um, I will be doing a true video um, color so that way you can hopefully see what's uh, showing through right now. Um, showing up so because again, it's like you don't get to see how really pretty and dynamic these, you know colors of purple and blue are in here because on the camera it just looks more blue than anything um so i will put that down oh this one's gonna be so amazing i love it so pretty okay all right everyone so please thumbs up this channel like this channel subscribe to it if you can share my videos to get others to hopefully subscribe and peter be a part of the Doc family and the DOC and um, yeah and enjoy and then uh, all the links to the website for color art for everything I've used here um, is at colorart.com the link is in the description box below the information on these glass ornaments and how to reach and contact the woman who sells these is Judy San again um, it's all the information and what they cost and everything in the description box below. Remember, you do pay shipping as well um, as the price. And it's on sale till January 2nd or as supplies last. And they're going fast. They're selling like hotcakes because people do realize how smart and awesome these are. <laughs> so get on it. And it's perfect time right now, too, to do it so you can, like, arts and crafts so to your heart's content to make whatever you want. So that way you can get it in perfect time for everything to be nice. Um for friends and family, for gifts and stuff, especially for the holidays. Um, but yeah, thank you, Clara. You guys rock, and thank you, Doris. I don't, I don't know if you're still here or not, but bless you. Um, yeah, so happy arting, everyone, and God bless. Thanks. Bye. Oopsies. Just kidding.